Yeah, Cyrus thinks he's better than me, but uh, we'll settle that here. I am. <laughs> All right. so, dude, I wouldn't want anything more. Than to see each of you a, a plan as. Do you have a favorite hero that you like to play? A favorite like quirky? Like, I'm Deku all day. Deku all day. I'm Deku all day. And I'm always best boy Todoroki. Best boy. <laughs> That's man. controversial, man. That, that Todoroki versus Deku fight was it revolutionary. Was, it yeah. made me cry. Yeah. I, I so showed that clip to a bunch of like non-believers, and they start watching it Instantly, immediately. Instantly, right? Yes. That's Instantly. one of those things. It's sets apart the My Hero anime and the way that it tells similar stories but puts a twist on them. Mm -hmm. It's so wholesome, it's amazing. When All Might goes around and hugs all his students oh, and yeah. says they did so a good, good job. And then he tries to hug Bakugo and he like snaps and yeah. goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we can talk about hug. the anime yes. forever. Let's play the like, game. Fight it out, boys. Let's do it. So when I look at fighting games, one of the first things that I'm trying to think about is a balancing here. Obviously off the anime, All Might is the number one hero. He's the strongest one here. But you're probably gonna try to not make him that way in this game. Yeah, yeah, we, we wanted to be fair for casual and, and those hardcore fans of the series. Although, you know, All Might is number one hero. We wanted to be able to have, you know, players play as some of the other characters against him and make it a fair fight. Do we ever see skinny All Might? <laughs> Uh, we'll be sharing more info we'll about We'll be sharing that more info soon. Okay. On our social channels. I feel like we're going to hear that a lot during this interview. <laughs> That's okay. I'm still going to ask all of them. You guys can just <laughs> like turn me down every time. One of the coolest things about this game is you have your main character, but you also have these two sidekick characters that you can use. And those sidekick characters will come out and use their quirk to aid you however you want in your battle. So mm -hmm. sort of like a sis in a Marvel versus Capcom, except you can't summon them. Right, exactly. Or you can't play as them, yeah. I yeah. should say. Yeah. Right. So how did you decide which characters we were going to be playing as directly and which ones were going to be our assists? Well, you take that? yeah, well, you know, every character has an awesome quirk. So the more you play with each character, you kind of get to know and feel how they uh, play within the game. And then it's up to you to choose who you really like. I really like Ochaka because, you know, she uses gravity. Um, I can pull her in to, you know, float Cyrus over here up so I can continue my combos. You're not gonna let him the, do it, <laughs> The casual savagery while talking. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I was like, maybe we should show them a little bit of the gameplay, and then Randy just came in and started attacking. But it's okay. So, the two psychic characters you have are both darkened, but you see a blue uh, meter underneath it, as if you do attacks, they... The bar grows and then you can summon them? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So you, it's there's a lot of management going on in how you want your characters to come out. Right now I just brought in Bakugo, uh, but now because I just brought him in, it's gonna take a while for him to recharge again. Yeah, we see these uh, two other bars under our fighters are currently out. What are those gonna represent and how are we gonna use them? So the one with the one is the basically like a special meter. So you get uh, three quirk specials. So one's a light quirk attack and then one's a second, which is like a bigger, more, uh, more powerful uh, quirk, but then it also allows like a cutscene like this. That's for level two? Yeah, level two. And then third is the entire team comes out. Ooh. Yeah. Is there yeah. any special interactions with like if you have like Bakugo and Deku together and he's like, shut up Bakugo or something like that? <laughs> well, played, Deku, well played, Randy. Well played, well played. Tell you, Cyrus. <laughs> that was good. That it's was his good. Birthday. You're it's a two out of three. It's a two out of three, and I don't want him to, you know, be sad on his birthday. Oh, really? Shut up. Aww. Aww. I know, I'm <laughs> such a good friend, right? <laughs> So as I was saying before, is there any special interactions between characters that have ties together? Yeah, so the, there's also a story mode, which we just um, announced. Um, with that, you know, you do get some of the cool cut scenes within the show that really let you uh, relive some of the exper experiences and the relationships between the characters. Will so, we be uh, changing up costumes as we go through? And can you tell us uh, any future ones coming? So there's actually a whole new uh, mode that we just announced, which offers up character customization. Uh, where you can put on a bunch of different uh, costumes from different characters onto what, whichever main character you want to use. So Deku can wear an All Might costume? Exactly. Oh my heart, no! What about what about our uniforms? Can the do they have uniforms? Are we, are we in there? <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're in there. I, you guys are focusing <laughs> so hard on the game. There's clearly a lot at stake here. <laughs> So, as fans of the games yourself, what has been your most joyous thing to kind of notice that the, that is included here? Uh, I just love seeing the the quirks like, brought to life, like just seeing Deku right here. Yeah, like that awesome. finger, yeah. egg yeah. in the yeah. microwave. It looks beautiful. And, yeah. and right now, Deku is actually in. Oh, man. Sorry, well, sorry. Done. well done. Well done. Well done. That was good. <laughs> that was good. We'll play again though. Uh, right now, Deku was actually in full cow mode, which makes his abilities a bit stronger, just like uh, in, the, in the show. Mm -hmm. I love it. So when you talk about the abilities getting stronger, we also talk about balance when it comes to fighting games competitive here. Are you more concerned with making this a fun game for the fans of the anime and the manga to play through, or is this also going to have a bit of a competitive side to it? 
I mean, you can see just from well, Randy from you and two, I, obviously there's... we're definitely competitive. There's a lot of fun aspects to this game that mm -hmm. make it uh, available for that competition, but we really just want the fans to have fun. Yeah. Well, beyond competition, for me, it's about the story mode. And you said that this is towards the end of the second season. Is that where the story mode takes place, or is it kind of its own unique story? So that's where the story takes place, and then you get to relive uh, some of the current um, scenes that's going on right now in season three. Uh, with that, there are some original scenarios in there. We're not going to yeah. sh share too much about that, so we want players to really experience it. But what we can say is that uh, when you jump into this game, you can play the hero side as well as the villain side, which offers you... For the story? Which yeah. offers you oh, a whole that's new... Uh, well, the anime does a really good job into. telling both sides of yeah, the story. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly, and we wanted to showcase that in, in One's Justice as well. I'll play all night. Uh, I'll play all night. Thank I'll you. Play all night. Thank How about that? He's my favorite. I'll play as Dobby. <laughs> Dobby? I'll play as Dobby. Okay, okay. He's pretty cool. He's a, he's a fan favorite, honestly. Him and Toga mm -hmm. are, are really well liked by the community. And we're getting a sneak peek of some of the stages here, but uh, can you give us a little more insight onto, you know, will we be going along with the story as we unlock the story, the stages will become available to fight on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. You, you, you know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sort of making sure for myself yeah. so I can promise myself what's to come. I don't want to get too excited, but I am really interested to see what those new scenarios that you guys are going to be adding, particularly for the game. When you added those in, were those in collaboration with the creators of My Hero? And do they, you know, are they canon? Is that a um, way to ask it? I feel like it's something for the fans to experience, but we are working closely with the, uh, the creators and, and the series. Is there, any, is there any instances in the map where you like knock down a wall and go through a mountain and then you end up in another like location? Uh, not necessarily. There's no but... scene change. Okay. Yeah. But most, if not everything, in the stage is destructible, as you can see when All Might is uh, throwing his bur his quirk back at Do uh, uh, Dobby. You Why can is he see blue? All of these. That's Dobby's quirk. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you can see all of these trees that are being destroyed, and then they're going to stay destroyed for the entire match. Yeah, this stage is, is massive. Mm -hmm. uh, can you take us to, to some of the limits of the... Yeah. Let's just run. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just and we did see some, away, some stage right? interaction. Are we going to be able to, to get up on the walls to use some of our quirks to... to uh... You can yeah, get up can. on the walls, yeah. yeah what was the decision for that? Uh, we just wanted to make it over top as fun as possible for yeah. the fans. Um, going to more of a technical side, there's two sets of uh, combos here. There's auto combos and manual combos. So what are the differences between those and what do you think players are going <laughs> to tend to lean towards? I, I think it depends on the, the player itself. So the, the normal mode is, is really for the casual fans that just want to kind of experience the quirks. But somebody who wants to get more technical and like ch kind of chain combos, the manual is the way to go. Well played, man. Yeah. Well played. I love not only are the, the hits given uh, little comic boofs, but yeah. the, the misses as well. There's yeah. a, a floosh in there that was... Yeah. <laughs> it's got a, a bit whole, of a call out. The comic book feel is, is also in the story mode as well. You're going to see when you are playing these uh, episodic scenes, you, it really showcases it like a comic book. How difficult, though, was it to turn these quirks into sets of moves and everything? Uh, you know what? It's... It's always a, a, a good time trying to create something um, from a, a kind of a 2D environment and bringing it to life. But I think the developers did a really great job just bringing everything, the cell uh animation here. Um, just oh no, I missed! That. I missed! <laughs> Let's see. I'm doing it again. Oh, for the fans. He has the classic for the smashes, fans. of course. Oh, oh no! You got again! No Detroit smash for you. What other um, systems aren't we just seeing right now, like obviously, that are in the game that maybe FGC players would want to know about? So there's a there's a guard break attack, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, when Cyrus hits me, he turns like a like a bright yellow, right. which means uh, it does a lot more damage than usual, and you're able to kind of fight through attacks. Absolutely. Yeah, conveying that information visually was a huge help to, to people who are kind of unfamiliar with those uh, minutiae fighting games. Yeah. As uh, I cannot wait for this game to come out. Where can I keep track of it? When's it coming out? And 